I've done many demos and tutorials around SQL, and every time I do them, people ask, what is this black magic? How are you doing this? And the funny thing is that there isn't anything special. I'm not using any SQL IDE, no data grip, no DB behavior. My setup is lightweight yet powerful and at the very end it's just a keyboard shortcut. So in this video I'll reveal you the secret sauce from my SQL workflow and give you three reasons why you should do the same and keep things simple when working with SQL and databases. So let's jump right in. So the first thing I'm doing is open VS Code and please bear with me this strategy works actually with any coding editor or IDE. Let's not start the war around coding editor right now. We all know that VS Code is the best. So here I have my coding editor and I'm going to open the integrate terminal. You often have this setup where you can have your terminal on the bottom side and this is where we're going to have our database connection and where everything is going to happen. And on the top side, we're going to create a simple SQL file. So on the bottom side, this is where, for example, if you are using Postgres, you're going to launch a psql client. For me, just for the sake of simplicity and the demo, I'm just going to launch a DuckDB shell. Now let's start writing some SQL. I'm going to ask to create a Duck DDL table using DuckDB SQL syntax. All right. And so the beauty of it now is that I have my SQL and I just execute it. So what happened is just a keyboard shortcut. So if I'm opening the configuration, you can see that I'm mapping, uh, let me zoom a bit, the command K to workbench.action.terminal run selected text. And that's pretty much it. So I'm now gonna run uh, this one. <clears throat> and you see, so I've inserted uh, data into the table. And now I can just uh, do a select query, for example. So DuckDB has a from first uh, statement. I don't need to do a select start with a limit. And that's it. I have my uh, table created. Of course, it's just a SQL file. So I can format this one. So you see it changed a bit uh, the, the formatting. And of course, much more. But let's dive into the reason. I'm already spoiling you why I've been using this past years this lightweight setup. So first, a word on SQL ID. I do believe there is use case for such an ID for a restricted set of users that do every SQL and actually don't program on the side in other language. Those people don't have by default a preferred coding editor or IDE. So that's why SQL IDE is kind of like the right match for that. But otherwise, why would you use a different software to code into another language? You have to learn the keyboard shortcut. The behavior is a bit different. It's just an overhead in my opinion, which is not necessary. So the short answer is I'm repeating myself. I like to keep things simple. Simple, one ID or coding editor to program in different languages. So the second reason why I like this setup is because you're working on actual file, it forces you to version things, cleaning up your current file, and making sure your SQL is reproducible. Far too often, people are working into SQL editor and they put queries that they reuse kind of often until they close their tab or refresh the session and everything is lost. And the third reason is because you're using the same ID, you can leverage the same tools regarding formatting, linting, and so forth. So I'm often using SQL Ref, for example, for linting and formatting. You can add uh, pre commit rules against this. And of course, you can use Use also your AI friend if you're feeling a bit lonely, like I am. So I know there are a lot of VCS code extension to improve your SQL workflow experience. To be honest, I never felt the need to actually use them. And I think removing tool in your technical stack is an underrated thing. It helps you free up mental spaces and focus on what actually matters here, writing good SQL and provide business value. That's it for this one. Take care of your SQL and I'll see you in the next one.